but it's okay because I said that it was going to be okay for me to be late for my appointment. Appointment! I've, I've heard this girl order over 20 things. I wore this shirt yesterday. I slept in it and then I got up and I was just like, you know what? Let's go. And I wore it again. Can I get a hash brown and one small Coke? One hash brown and a small Coke? Yeah. Oh my god, I smell cigarette smoke. Well, I just ran over the curb. I really did. So Adrian and I roll up to this McDonald's late at night. Pull up to pay for our food. This guy looks at us and he's just like, you like to come here a lot, don't you? Like, are we supposed to take it as a fat joke? Of course we like to come here. One, it's McDonald's. Two, I'm poor. I can't afford Cheesecake Factory every night, honey. Hey, how you doing? Did okay. you have a hash brown and a coke? Yeah. All right, that's gonna be 261. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm not kidding this girl. I'm about to be that bitch. Dude, why are you holding up the line? Why is McDonald's so complicated? Number one, number two, number three. Give me a Big Mac, give me a large fry. Like, it's so easy. You're making it freaking complicated. I'm about to be that bitch and I'm going to honk. Give her two extra hash browns. My window's down. Is she? Is she scamming two hash browns? Cause she already paid for it back there and she's asking for them up here. Honey, it doesn't work this way. Beep, beep. I want my food. Dude. Can she get a lot of ketchup and hot sauce? Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, it's 11-11. Make a wish. But I'm gonna be late for my appointment. I already am late. I'm 11 minutes late and I still gotta get there. Sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. When they even know she's crazy. Oh my god. Have you ever ate food and drank something for the first time in the morning? And it just hurts so good. Well, I didn't even say what I was doing. How? me okay so i'm getting my hair done today because i literally cannot take this anymore it's like it, it's killing me my roots are growing out really long which is really good because you guys know like the circumstances with my hair so i couldn't really get my hair done i went to get my hair done i'm going to say a little over a month ago and they couldn't do anything i think i mentioned that in my like losing hair video it like came out horrible I paid $70 for nothing. It was just stupid. I got my hair washed basically five times. I went to this Korean um, hair salon because I live in Koreatown. I have no choice because all the hair salons near me, like, I really, they're all, like, Korean. Every time I go in there, I feel so left out. I'm going to grab you. What if I said that in real life? Like, I'm going to grab you. But anyways, I'm going to go and get my hair done at another place, and it's all Korean. I'm gonna feel very weird, but it's okay. I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm gonna show them pictures of what I want and I'm gonna see what they can do. Um, my hair is so much healthier, but you know, still got the breakage. Can't help that. Let's see what they can do. Let's go inside. Let's not look like I have a pile of poop on my hair anymore. Okay? Okay. This guy literally hit my car. Like he like, he didn't even care. This man right here. That man just hit my car with his door. I didn't catch it on camera because I turned it off right when he hit me and like my face was just like, bitch, I will. I was only in there for 15 minutes. They could not figure out what I wanted to do with my hair. They were so confused and it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever been through in my whole entire life. So, basically went inside. My hair looks crazy right now, so they made me take it down. But I was like, Hey, can you make me this color? Let me show you guys what. I really want to be like a cool blonde. I probably need like a color correction because you can still see the hue of like green in my hair, which is so ridiculous. But like I showed them this, okay? And they were like, uh, you have a lot of breakage. We can't do that. And I was like, okay, well, that's fine. Like, that's fine. Like, just don't do it. Like, you're the hairdresser. What do you think I should do? Like, I'll even go my whole root color. Like, I don't care. And they're like, we can still do it. Well, I don't have the picture up anymore. But they're like, we can still do this. And I was just like, 
But you just said I'll have a lot of breakage. Like, see, I'm not a hairdresser. I don't freaking know, man. I just want to be like a normal freaking color. They they just couldn't understand. And, and the woman was just like, okay, well, you look for a color that you want. Because, uh, I don't know. I was just like, I already did. But she was like, you look for a color that you want and then we'll do it. And I was just like, okay. So I called another hair salon while I was looking for this hair salon that I'm going to. My appointment's at 345. I'm very upset and I just need to stop going to Korean hair salons. That's how I'm trying to be, man. Just sitting outside watching TV. There you go. Hi guys, so um, my hair is so much better. Oh yeah, my bangs are cut, so I probably look a little bit different, but it had to happen. But guys, like this girl worked magic on my hair. I'm not even kidding, her name is Taylor. We have her full name here. Taylor, I don't know how to say her name. Did Demonico? Did Demonico? I don't know, but um, I went to Eden, Eden's hair salon, and I'm not kidding, like, she did the very best she could, and she made sure that I walked out of there very happy, and I am very happy. I mean, I'm gonna put um, a picture right here of what my hair was. This was before I got my hair done, and now look at it, like, like, it's so much better, but, um, my camera's dying, guys, but I'm gonna try to get... Um, Adrian's reaction to my hair it's not really a big deal but compared to what it was like it's a big deal so we're gonna get his reaction in a minute <laughs> 